Why would you stop believing him because someone else says that they seek the Lord and don't find him? Why would I follow someone who says they sought the Lord and found him? If we're going to throw out personal experience, there goes your testimony for the Gospels. There goes your proof of Jesus' resurrection. There goes so much of what the Christian faith is built off of. You can't just throw out the individual experience when it suits you. They would say I'm personally attacking them. At least they potentially would. And I'd be okay with that. I'd be, I'd be like, well, you brought it up. Like, you're the one that laid out your sincerity as the rule. By which you will test God's existence. No one did that to you, Mike. Someone said, how do I answer the problem of divine hiddenness? And he said, well, the problem with divine hiddenness is really a problem with people's sincerity. And then he turned around and said, the fact that people use their sincerity to prop up their argument and force me to try to agree proves how corrupt and fallacious their argument was in the first place. The mental gymnastics here, the dishonesty, like, am I missing something? This is crazy.